My project started out when I was nine, wanting to save animals, and of course I had a dream of having gibbons but couldn't have them as a child. And because gibbons are so rare in captivity in the wild, they're like a real treasure to me. And I really enjoy trying to put these animals together to help save their species. This is a, a, a juvenile female over there. This is her sub-adult son. He's about four and a half years old. The father is right over here. If a scientist wanted to study gibbons in captivity, you'd have to do a lot of traveling, whereas here, you could see a lot of different species and individuals in one location. This is a great job if you like stress. <laughs> um, and no sleep. I try to keep myself as physically fit as possible. I treat myself like an athlete. I do the same for the gibbons. It makes it so I can perform. Uh, the daily tasks that I give myself each day. Sometimes I feel my life is a race against the clock. Every second counts to me. I had a great trip in the year 2000 to Indonesia. I spent a, a month there. The driving is not the same as it would be in the United States. It takes a while to get you know, from one location to the next. I've known Yatna for approximately 15 years, and he's now considered to be one of the foremost authorities of primatology. He's also the director of Conservation International in Indonesia. He has a research facility um, at one of the national parks. It's really a beautiful place. They even have um, some walkways so you don't disturb the soil and some canopy walks also so you can walk right up high with the animals there. What a great place to live. Where? In this forest. Yeah, for the gibbon? Yeah. Yeah, it's beautiful. They probably have smiles on their face throughout the day. <laughs> it was really funny because there was a book on eccentrics and I felt like these were some of my relatives. Uli von Mingden, he's probably rescued three to five hundred orangutans. <laughs> Traveling to different zoos and rescue centers, observing uh, new things for me. And they, would, they asked me if I would uh, do a survey for them during my travels. Thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate it. I'd like to introduce Jennifer Ingle behind the camera. One of the things that people really don't give a lot of thought to is that, you know, why are we here on Earth? And I feel it's an opportunity um, to educate others of what we have learned. And so from my studies in the last 25 years, I can help others um, with the various aspects of given behavior uh, to make the lives better for givens in captivity. I, I feel it's, a, it's very important that we just don't take that we give while that we're here on Earth. Mm -hmm.